Hi there and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video we're going to have a look at the Sonoff uh, window and door sensors. Now there's actually been two sensors. Now you can probably tell by the different size, slight different size in the packets here. Uh, one is slightly bigger than the other. So we've got the old version which is the SNZB04 and then we've got the newer version which is the aptly named SNZB04P. Now in this video what we're going to do is I'm going to compare both of them, have a look at the differences and what's changed and then what I'll do is I'll uh, add them to the Sonoff uh, Zigbee bridge and show you inside the Ewe Link app and see how they're running and then I'll take them off the app and actually bring them into Home Assistant and see what kind of attributes they kind of allow us uh, to see and do and see how we can use them and whether you're going to be wanting to put these on doors, drawers, uh, windows, anything like that. So let's have a look. Okay so here's our two boxes. You can see the slight size difference in these two. So we'll start with the uh, original early model which you can still buy. So inside the packet, you get the normal sensor. This part's got the battery in it. And then we've got a small instruction booklet. And then the rather blocky kind of sensor that goes on there. If you look inside the small kind of contact sensor, all it is really inside is just a small magnet. You can take the back off, get a little screwdriver in here, very gently. And if we open it up, you can see the button type battery in here and there's a little pulley in order to activate it off the back. I couldn't quite see that. So I'm just going to leave that there for the moment. And then let's have a look at the new one. So here's the slightly norm bigger one. In a little bag inside another cloth and now we've got two items here both with 3m stickers on the back and they're like a little kind of this one's like a little kind of lozenge kind of beveled kind of bullet uh, and this one is a lot lot bigger so if you want to magnets together so if you want to have a look at those two we're talking quite a bit fatter with a rounder edge on it as well. And you can see it's slightly wider as well in here. Now, the main difference I can tell straight away from these two, uh, we've got the button on the top of this one. And then we've also got the sewn off added uh, tamper proof little button here as well. The little black bit sticking out. Um, so if it's removed, it would set off. Uh, a trigger or an alarm as well this time we've got the tab here for the battery but i believe i've had this out and you can see the uh, the battery in here so let's have a look at this battery because this is one of the big differences uh, between these two models and that's why i believe the unit is actually bigger can you see the very large uh, coin type battery in there very big and the reason for that is uh, the life of the battery. The unit obviously has to be bigger to hold it, but the battery life, instead of getting kind of one or two years out of these, um, you may get more uh, depending on its use. But out of these, I know you can get about a five year or more use out of these. So you're gonna get a lot less battery changes to do. just goes on like that so one of the other important things to note also is that in the newer model you actually get the 3m stickers already placed for you on the back ready to go whereas on the uh, older model when you get it out there's actually nothing on the back at all 
but what you should find inside the packet is some uh, sticky pieces and you can tell that if you pull this piece out um, the smaller one insert would be for the back of it and then the larger one would get the rest of whatever was left so it would just kind of stick on like that if you were going to use it which you probably are going to use it right so into the ewe link app let's deal with the older model first right so we've got the zigbee bridge uh, all loaded up and we're going to add a device I'm just going to pull the tag off of the original version and then add hopefully it will find it Right, so it's found the window and door sensor. It says it's open because I've got it separately in my hand. So I'm just going to open that up. So at the moment, the status is open, as you can probably see there. I'm just going to put the sensor next to itself. There you go, closed. I'm just going to open it out again. Open split second delay there really um, we've got our battery readout on there as well showing high which is nice and you can see it there on the top of the main screen as well which is all really handy because you then you don't have to go into that bridge uh, the zb bridge sub menu at all you can see that the sensor was closed uh, at a certain time there as well let's just go and add in the newer model as well and have a look at that That's nice. I've got a little red flashing light on the front of this one as well, so I can see what it's actually doing. It's now gone off. And it's found the device. And there we go. There's the O4P one as well. So similar looking thing. Just going to pull it apart, open, closed, open, closed, open. This is a lot more responsive. I've got to tell you, this one, I'm just going to go back to the other one, actually. It's quicker recording the closed on the older model, but a little bit slower recording the open. Yeah, there's definitely a split second kind of delay. Whereas if you go to the new one, it's very quick, almost like as quick as you moving it apart. So that seems to be one good uh, thing about it. You also get the red light on the front that also changes depending on whether it's open or closed. Now, I did notice that as soon as I went into Alexa, it's found the windows and door sensors as well pretty quickly. There we go, showing it is closed, and then the other one showing it is closed as well. Yeah, so that's pretty quick in Alexa as well. Yeah, it's all working in there straight away as well. Right, so I'm just coming into the uh, Zigbee to MQTT screen, and I'm just going to now join these items into Home Assistant. So I'm just going to click on Permit Join at the top.
So these have been configured now. Well, the first one has anyway. So if we have a look at it, you can probably tell from that image that it's the rounded version. So the newer version, the 4P version at the bottom here. Now I just need to get the other one in. Here we go. Starting the interview with this one. I actually just had to put a little pin inside the hole of the uh, older version in order for it to kind of reset and hold that down for a few seconds. And you can probably see there from the graphic, it's the older version uh, there as well at the bottom, the SNZB04. So it's reporting it then as an end device, which I expected it to do. We've got contacts in here as well. True, open or false. We've got battery low, the battery percentage, the voltage, the tamper proof status and the link quality as well. End device again. And this time the contact, the battery low, the battery, the voltage and the link quality again. So the 0x34 is the newer model, the 4P model. So again, we've got the battery in here, the contact, the tamper, uh, the measurement for the battery and various firmware details. So can you see the contact uh, state changing there, the second one down? So at the moment it's on which means basically I've got them apart. So on is when they're apart and together it's off. Do it again, pull it apart, goes to on, put it back together again, it goes to off. So this is the older model with the three values here. So we've got the battery, the contact and the battery low. So apart, it's on, together it's off, on, Together, it's pretty quick coming together, a little bit slower being pulled apart, but overall it's pretty good. Okay, so I've just set up a couple of uh, entity cards into the dashboard in Home Assistant. You can see there's two sorts. I've got some really small uh, mushroom cards at the top here. And if I edit these, you can see here, I've got small uh, mushroom chips cards and I've got the two entities. If I look at the first one, I've basically got a door icon in here and then um, the content is just the name. If you go to default information, it's just open or closed on these. So I've just got the name on this one and the uh, default on the second one. So I've got both types in here. And then on these ones, I've just gone with really basic mushroom entity cards. The only difference here is that I've made the icon color red and blue on these. Otherwise, I've left them exactly the same just to show you kind of how they work in Home Assistant. Obviously, you probably may not have them kind of show whether a door is open or closed, but you would probably use them more in automations and things like that. Although sometimes it is good to see uh, if the door is or window is open or closed and uh, or maybe what the battery level is etc things like that so let's have a go then so let's go for the uh, 04 version the older version i'm just going to pull the contact away there you go so the top one has gone to open instead of closed and the other one has gone to red as I defined it as a red color and the status has changed to open. Now I'm just going to put it back on again. There you go. It's changed to closed. And then if I go for the newer model, the 04P, you'll see on this one, it will go blue. There you go. And uh, the door is open on that one as well. Just to show you that that does kind of trigger that as well. Okay. Let's summarize the differences between the two sensors. So I did find on the newer version that the magnetism between the two 
the contact than the sensor was a lot higher so i think that's why you get a better response from the newer one as well plus you get the red light on the new one where you don't get any indication of uh, it coming together or not on the old one obviously you've got a longer battery life in the new one but it's a lot thicker uh, than the old one and the new battery is probably a bit more expensive to replace don't forget also uh, there's no way to kind of reset it on the old one you've just got a pinhole whereas on the new one you've got a button on the top as well and then of course on the back we've got the anti-tamper little black uh, button on the back of the new one as well and the 3m uh, tape is already included on the back you just have to stick that on yourself on the uh, old one the price is not too much difference to be honest between the two um, but if i were you and you weren't too worried about the size then i'd probably go with the newer one don't forget you can get 10 percent off uh, these sewn off products by buying them directly and by using my promotional code which i've got on screen now and i've also put the link and the code in the this video description below as well so that's the end of the video um, i hope you enjoyed it if you did give us a like and don't forget to leave a comment and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and i'll see you soon